Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. Uh, welcome back here to the uh, nightly update on the uh, channel here, the Earthmaster channel. It is uh, the Earthmaster himself here on this end of the microphone. It is about, uh, well, 11.07 p.m. here, Thursday night, California time, uh, November 2nd, 2023. The latest activity looks like some movement stirring up out here on the Big Island of Hawaii. Nothing spectacular. In fact, uh, just a handful of earthquakes here in the last hour or so no major unusual movement there across the kilauea volcano and the latest informational statement there uh from the usgs still states that uh well the wrong site here let me go back over here uh, i'm sure it's still gonna say the same th same thing that's been saying here for a little while uh kilauea, kilauea daily update not erupting is the key word right there once again uh, still seeing some earthquake activity still seeing a little bit of inflation there at the uh, Kilauea Volcano. I'm going to go over here and double check this real quick. See what's going on here with the graphs here for uh, this volcano. Still seeing that downtrend here. Now, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like we're uh, not going back up. This is the inflation chart here. Still showing that uh, downward momentum there at the uh, summit area of Kilauea Volcano, unfortunately. But, uh, well, I mean, I can't really say, unfortunately. Um, a lot of people love seeing the views out there of the volcano when it is in eruptive status. Uh, so I can see that being one uh, positive thing, you know, as far as this volcano uh, going back to the eruptive status. It really doesn't do any harm out there when it, when it sticks to the uh, lava lake area, the crater lake area of that volcano uh, with those fissures out there in the middle of that lava lake so it's pretty cool to look at i enjoy looking at the uh pictures and videos when they do pop up here across the kilauea volcano uh so we'll just continue to watch that and see if anything changes uh earthquake activity there's not a whole lot a couple small earthquakes here in the last 24 hours but for the most part uh earthquake activity along with inflation has died down there across that volcano all right uh, what else we got here? Anything major going on across the states? Texas out here getting a swarm of activity. This has just been kind of ongoing out here. Um, out in the desert out here around the Rustler Hills area. Now, I know there's quite a bit of uh, operations going on here as far as pumping operations go. You can see that uh, keying up out here. More specifically, right around the solar farm. Now, I don't think solar farms are going to create earthquakes out there. Uh but within the vicinity of this uh, solar farm, there's definitely quite a bit of earthquake activity stirring up out here. Nothing major, but the multitude of quakes here has been quite impressive over the last week or so. And again, there might be some newer pumping operations out here in the hills uh, that's not listed up here on this map. I don't know how old it is, but it uh, uh, looks like maybe there's a, a wastewater disposal facility here as well. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell. Another one right here, I think. Who knows what? But uh, definitely seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up out here in this area of Texas recently. All right, let's back out of here. A little bit of movement here in Oklahoma. A little 2.0. Uh, eastern portion of the country, pretty quiet out there. Um, looking out at the Pacific Northwest, nothing showing up here across the Mount St. Helens region for now. But... We are seeing a little bit of activity there across Mount Rainier. Some very small microquake activity. I want to double check the trimmer map here to see what's going on. 36 epicenters here. Center portion of Oregon. Well, I can't say center, but west center. Last time I said central Oregon out here, the people in Bend got a little upset at me. <laughs> central Oregon is Bend area and um, Redmond area up there. This is, uh, I guess, the central coast i could call that hopefully uh, but aside from that just generally some small trimmer activity not a whole lot 36 epicenters to be exact there uh, along the cascadia uh far as the west coast goes going to bring up the 2.5 map and above uh, aside from some movement here shy of the cascadia this morning that's going to be a 3.3 uh, we did see a one more earthquake here above 2.5 2.7 here uh, right around the Ridgecrest area. Pretty shallow earthquake. This area has been seen a handful of microquakes here recently. And that looks like 
Uh, that's continuing here over the past 24 hours. Nothing major going on here across the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault for now. Kind of keep an eye on that, see uh, how it plays out. Uh, what else we got for worldwide activity? Not a whole lot showing up here on the map. Looks like Iceland's still seeing some movement up here uh, near the Rec Janes area. Uh, is that Vogar or Vogar, Iceland area? 4.6 earlier this uh, this evening. Let me go over here and double check the Iceland volcano site, see what we have going on now. They've definitely had a lot of earthquake activity out here recently across this uh, region. And uh, still looks like this is re remaining at yellow. Doesn't look like anything has changed here in terms of the activity. Now there's a whole bunch of information here in terms of uh, possible scenarios, last known eruption and whatnot. Not going to go through over this again. Looks like back in 1226 CE, there was some type of uh, eruptive event, a moderate eruption scenario. Um, back then, regular intervals of this volcano area is roughly about a thousand years. So we are coming up on that, um, which could, you know, could happen anytime. There's definitely still uh, a lot of earthquake activity up there, aside from that four-pointer that the USGS is reporting. As you can see, quite a few threes and twos, and I'm sure uh, some other earthquake activity, up, or a lot more earthquake activity. Um, oh, let's see what we got here. These are very small words here. I'm going to have to look on here and see if we can find, um, let me check out a couple of these uh, seismic stations out here. This will give us, a, I guess, a good indicator of what hopefully we'll be able to see. Stand by for a second. Oh, not found from that one. Not for sure why that one's not working. That one's not found either. Hopefully these guys don't have me blocked. Uh, maybe yeah I'm not for sure why it's not letting me see that uh, I'll have to check back on that a little bit later that one's not working either so I'll check this back a little bit later there's a couple different GPS stations that I can look over across the Iceland area that's that in itself is like a complete update uh, alone, you know, as far as uh, trying to cover all the activity that's taking place out here in Iceland. It's definitely active. The volcanoes could pop here across, across this area any second, any minute. Um, the general GPS out here, at least according to this one, very close, very close here to the, uh, well, can't really say specifically close uh, because that, uh, uh, volcano areas right around here, I believe, or down on the southern tip here, and I can't get any of these uh, stations there to work for some oddball reason. Um, so, trying to read this one when the volcano is a ways away is kind of pointless. We'd have to get a uh, uh, a direct GPS link there to that region to see, uh, you know, how much uh, displacement's going on here, far as the uh, Volcano activity. Uh, radar. Not going to go into all of this, but either way, we'll continue to watch that. Um, and the Earthquake 3D Globe out here is doing a pretty good job of showing all the earthquake activity. This is being reported from the uh, EMSC folks there. Uh, so that's covered in terms of earthquake activity. It's definitely lighting up here uh, in the last couple hours for sure. Uh, let me go over here and check out something real quick. Uh, world map, go over here real quick. I just want to get a total tally and see how many earthquakes we have had over here in the last week or so. Um, you know, I'm sure there's been a lot more than this, uh, across this area. That's just the last week, last two weeks, probably, well, it goes up quite a bit more. 
Um, but we'll continue, definitely continue to watch that. We'll see how that plays out. If anyone knows a uh, specific area or a specific website in terms of looking at these GPS stations, send me a send me an email or leave it here in the comments because I cannot get any of this stuff to uh, to access up here across this website. All right, let's move on here to the uh, latest map here on USGS. Um, aside from that up there in the Atlantic, well, got a little bit of activity up and down the board here. 4.9 in the northern mid-Atlantic ridge there from late last night. Plus 5.1 earlier this afternoon, it looks like. South Sandwich Trench. Uh, let's see here. Anything major going on across this area of the of the uh, the planet? A couple twos and threes, maybe even a four pointer down there into the Kermadec Trench. It looks like just north of the North Island area, of New Zealand. Aside from that, we did see uh, uh, some deeper movement quakes up north here into the uh, Izu Trench with that four point two. Uh, looks like that uh, activity wanting to strain this area pretty nicely across the Java Trench. The latest one is a 5.3 here into the Java Trench area. Not showing up here on the USGS map yet, uh, but definitely watch this area. A lot of momentum wanting to travel through this plate boundary. And we really haven't seen any, uh, any further westward migration here across this area in a little while. It's moving out in Turkey there, it looks like, of course, is uh, typical. Uh, let's check out space weather here real quick. Got a little bit of flaring going on right now from a very far side sunspot region. Uh, looks like this area right here across the eastern limb. A little bright feature, some magnetic arches going on there within that uh, area. Have to watch that region as it comes about. Uh, it's going to be the circled area right here, it looks like. And at least looking from this right now, this little angle, kind of hard to tell, but it looks like quite a bit of complexity going on with it within this uh, little core. Uh, rest of the sunspots, this one's still trying to hold on, but there's definitely still some separation going on within that main core area. Um, not for sure if this one's going to pop over here or not. It might. Looks like there's a couple different bright regions here. Uh, that maybe want to arch up a little bit and get some flaring going on. But I think our main show is going to be a little bit later in a couple days across this area uh, with this new sunspot region that's coming in. Not quite named yet, but it will be probably tomorrow. We'll have to keep an eye on that area. Right now, overall threat, 85% chance for a C flare. M flare at 35% chance. X flare remains elevated at around 5% chance or so. Uh, not a whole lot of rewards up there for now across the, uh, the regions. Uh, let's see. Look at that beautiful image here of a solar filament. Beautiful plasma feature here. Sometimes these do blast off. Uh, if that does happen to uh, blast off, that may be uh, Earth directed. Shoot off a CME. That'd be a big one there. Uh, that could definitely amplify the auroras if that thing does decide to uh, take off. But we'll continue to watch that. You can kind of see it up here as well across this region but uh, looks like 67 here is growing this is a pretty uh, large coronal hole that could play a little part in the solar weather activity as well uh, once that is into position facing the earth all right uh, what else we got here folks seismograph station is pretty quiet I'm gonna call it a night it's been uh, kind of a long day here I don't know I've been feeling a little uh, a little tired here recently. I don't know if it's a change in weather, maybe the le lack of sunlight. Of course, we're getting less sunlight here uh, as we head towards the uh, summer solstice area, or uh, summer. <laughs> I do not want to go through summer. Winter. Uh, days are definitely short and they'll continue to get shorter until that uh, time period. Anyway, folks, um, again, let me know if you guys have any information here on seismograph stations around this area. Uh, I'm sure I could probably find it. I may have it here in all of my bookmarks. I'm not for sure, though. Um, but uh, let me know. Send me an email, earthmastermail at gmail.com. And um, 
I'd like to see what those look like. Uh, some people are saying there's thousands of earthquakes going on there. Not for certain, though, if there's thousands of earthquakes or not. Uh, there's definitely quite a bit. But I would definitely like to see those uh, live seismos. So uh, if you have any info on that, please pass that along to us. We'll catch you guys back out here sometime tomorrow morning. And it's Friday. Not quite Friday yet here in California, but it will be soon. So I'm going to try and get in bed before it happens. Have a good one, and uh, we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. Stay safe.